Palladian style. The house was finally completed in 1827. Holman used materials from the region, bricks from Malacca, natural timber from the jungles, and the walls were treated with stucco. And now for today's cooking lesson. We are going to make a special stucco called Madras Tunum. First, you take coconut husks. Soak husks in water for 24 hours. Then take 2 million eggs. Separate egg white, egg yolks and shell. Crush shell finely together with coarse sugar. Add egg white and lime. Mix into fine paste. Add prepared water. Apply liberally to walls. Let dry and polish to a fine finish. And there you have it, Madras Chunam. But Maxwell never lived in this house. Raffles had already designated the area on the north bank as the government administrative quarter. In exchange for 500 rupees, Maxwell leased the house to the British, and it became known as Government House. In the years which followed, the house was renovated and extended to its present size. Few know of the fact that this building was also the first courthouse where criminals were tried and imprisoned in its very own dungeons and jails. In the war years, the house fell into neglect and disrepair. Where once it was the symbol of strength and glory, it was now simply used as a storehouse. In the aftermath of the war, Singapore's cry for its independence and sovereignty became its clarion call. The house was given a part to play in the birth of a new nation. In 1954, the house was saved from neglect and refitted with a parliamentary chamber. It became home to the newly formed Legislative Council and was renamed the Assembly House. In 1965, after a slightly troubled passage in its union with Malaya, Singapore established its inalienable right as a sovereign, democratic nation. The House assumed a new importance and became the Parliament House. <laughs> Through the centuries, this House has seen much change. In tough times and good ones, it has stood proudly, a symbol of enduring strength, conviction, and faith in its people. This house was led by an illustrious line of men and women whose decisions made a great difference to Singapore as it is today. In 1999, the Parliament moved to its new home at Northbridge Road, paving the way for a new chapter in the history of the house that George Coleman built. In its lifetime, it has played many roles. Maxwell's House, Government House, Courthouse, Assembly House, Parliament House. Today, as we move forward into the 21st century, a new purpose and direction is set for the House. <laughs>